Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In today's video you will find out how the price of Ripple has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, Divergence and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Ripple, the price went down only slight by about 0.5% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 37.4 cents. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 37.3 cents it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 37.5 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is now in the hourly ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 37.1 cents. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Usually, when the price moves to the side, the ribbon is less reliable. Searching for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to the bearish divergence, the price has already gone down. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, the price crossed the 20 SMA upwards. It's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. The current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish, and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 37.2 cents. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the three hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 36.1 cents. The support should be relatively strong seeing as the ribbon is spread out. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Looking at the daily simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 36.9 cents it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 38.7 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the current price went above the daily ribbon, so you should watch out for the price dipping back below the ribbon or if it will play as a support to the downside, which is currently at around 37.0 cents. Jumping to the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next time.